Welcome back to look number four using the Believe Beauty Plush Purples eyeshadow palette plus their other products as well. Uh, I say this in almost every one of the intros. I am really loving this Plush Purples palette and I challenge myself to come up with as many looks as I can using this palette. So as always, we're going to prime our eyes with Milani eyeshadow primer and today we're using a pigment primer as well from NYX and it's a little bit tacky so it helps eyeshadows grab on better. We're taking the Believe Beauty Plush Purples palette here. This beautiful lilac shade, it's in the second row last eyeshadow. I'm using a small shader brush from Real Techniques to really pack on that shade. And we are going to pack it on because it is sheer. And we're just gonna keep working at it, pat and pat and pat and pat. And luckily, there's not really any fallout hardly with this eyeshadow palette. So I already done my face makeup and I have nothing to catch fallout, which is awesome. We're taking the prettiest purple in the palette, my personal favorite. First row, third eyeshadow on a stiff, flat shader brush. We're going to pat that in the center of the lid. And I'm just going to keep patting and patting and dragging the shade because that's what I'm doing. I'm just like patting it on there and then dragging it down onto the lower lid. Bringing all the shades up into the crease because we're just doing this really nice gradient kind of look. Pick up more lilac eyeshadow and use that to help blend the matte lilac purple with the shimmery brighter purple and then we're taking this pencil brush and we're going to take the shade from the first row second eyeshadow the darker purple and we're really going to buff that in our outer corner place that and we're going to start in with our blending process so we're going to start blending all the shades together now for a blending tip here pick like shades and they'll blend better together obviously and same textures will blend a lot easier as well so you'll see the two shimmerier shades on in towards the outer corner are going to blend very nice and flawlessly the matte and the shimmer in the front of the eye here towards the inner corner is and it's going to take a minute to actually get those to blend but they will sure they will just keep going back and forth over top of the color we're going to soften the edges of our crease here and we're holding the brush towards the end so with a light hand just keep buffing and blending and we're using a blending brush to buff those edges we're using the color workshop brow highlighter we're using that as the highlight shade and we're going to blend down the edges a bit. Just buff that in with the crease colors. Keep buffing and blending. We do a lot of that. Seems like that's all we do is blend, blend, blend. And we're adding that beautiful purple in the center of the look to our lower lash line as well. And just keep buffing that into the lashes. And then I'm going to tight line with the Milani Stay Put Eyeliner. And we're going to be using the Wet n Wild Brow Highlighter Pencil to brighten our waterline because the, dark, the look is kind of dark. So we won't close our eyes off anymore. And this is the Elf Eye Transformer. And we're going to be taking the Purple Blue Duochrome Eyeshadow and applying that in the inner corner to brighten the inner corner up more. And we are going to pack that in with a pencil brush. We're using the Believe Beauty Midnight in Paris Metallic Liquid Eyeliner Pen. This thing is awesome. It is under $5. I love this purple eyeliner. I love the combination of the um, eyeliner and the eyeshadow and then this is their fiber mascara from Believe Beauty and it's actually a really nice mascara. I just do like three coats of that, let it dry about 10 seconds in between and it comes out really nice. Like it builds very nicely and this is their satin crushed lipstick in soft rose. Very beautiful lipstick, very creamy. They last a long time on the lips and next we're going to be using the hard candy long wear 
setting spray and here's our finished look very easy and simple gradient to achieve just a lot of blending and color placement but fairly easy to achieve i hope you guys enjoyed it well stay tuned for more believe beauty makeup tutorials thank you always for watching don't forget to like the video comment subscribe and ring the bell if you haven't already